Hey guys, so welcome back. Today we will review how to check your answer when you are solving a long division problem. When you check your answer, you need to multiply your quotient times your divisor, which is going to equal your dividend. If you have a remainder, you're going to do the same thing, except you're going to multiply your quotient times your divisor. You're going to add your remainder, and then you will notice that will equal your dividend. So let's look at our first example. So let's say we were dividing 735 divided by 35. So let's go ahead and quickly solve this problem. 35 on the outside, 735 on the inside. 35 goes into 73 two times. 35 times 2 is 70. 73 minus 70 is 3. I'm going to bring down my 5. 35 goes into 35 now one time. 35 times 1 is 35. And then we have 35 minus 35 is 0. So in this example here, our quotient is 21. We do not have any remainders, as you can see. So to check my answer, I'm going to take my quotient, which is 21. 21 times 35, that's going to equal 735. And notice that that answer is equivalent to what you have here in your dividend. So let's look at this example here. So let's say we were dividing 208 divided by 2. So I'm going to set up my division problem, 2 on the outside, 208 on the inside. 2 goes into 2 how many times? 1 time. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. I'm going to bring down this 0 here. 2 goes into 0 how many times? 0 times. So 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. I'm going to bring down my 8. 2 goes into 8 how many times? 4 times. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. So my quotient is 104. This is my quotient here. To check my answer, I'm going to multiply 104 times 2. And that's going to equal 208, which is the same as your dividend right here. Let's try 2,847 divided by three. Let's set up our division problem really quickly so we can see. Three goes into two how many times? It doesn't go, it's too small. What about three goes into 28? It goes in nine times. Three times nine is 27. 28 minus 27 is one. I'm gonna bring down my four. Three goes into 14 how many times? Or times. 3 times 4 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. I'm going to bring down the 7. 3 goes into 27 9 times. 3 times 9 is 27. 27 minus 27 is 0. So my quotient is 949. This is my quotient here with no remainders. So I'm going to multiply 949 times three to check my answer, and I'm going to get 2,847 as my answer, which is the same here as your dividend. So let's try 435 divided by 25. So let's go ahead and set up the problem. My 25 on the outside, and then 435 on the inside. 25 goes into 43 how many times? It goes in one time. 25 times 1 is 25. 43 minus 25 is 18. I'm going to bring down my 5. 25 goes into 185 7 times. 25 times 7 is 175. And then 185 minus 175 is 10. Okay, so your quotient is 17 with a remainder 10. Now, to check my answer now, I'm going to multiply 17 
times 25, because you're multiplying your quotient times your divisor, and that's going to equal 425. Now, since I do have a remainder of 10, I do need to add my remainder. So 425 plus 10 plus my remainder is going to equal 435, which is the same answer as your dividend. So let's try one more, 174 divided by five. I'm gonna write my five on the outside and then my 174 on the inside. Five goes into 17 three times. Five times three is 15. 17 minus 15 is two. I'm going to bring down my four. Five goes into 24 four times. Five times four is 20. And then you have 24 minus 20 is going to equal 4. So your answer is 34 with a remainder 4. To check my answer, I'm going to multiply 34 times 5. That's going to equal 170. However, I do have a remainder that I need to add. So I'm going to add my remainder now. 170 plus 4 is 174. And notice this is the same answer as your dividend. All right. So that is all for today. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.